Hello and welcome to Talking Shit with Dr. Todd and Natalia. Today we'll be discussing primate locomotion from knuckle walking to brachiating to bipedalism. Many Bigfoot hunters say Squatch is bipedal meaning an upright walking dude. Some Squatchers think Bigfoot is an upright walking dude and a knuckle walker. So it's important to understand the locomotion of primates before making predictions about Squatch. One such primate, Gibbons, brachiate or swings through the trees with great stealth and ease. I call them ninjas of the forest. Our closest genetic relatives, the chimpanzees and gorillas, are knuckle walkers. And even though they're capable of walking on two legs, they look really silly when they do. Just like bipedal humans look rather awkward when they try to knuckle walk. Speak for yourself, biped. <laughs> humans and hominins, our extinct ancestors, are bipeds, meaning they're upright walking dudes. Humans have far longer and stronger legs than those of non-human primates, but gorillas and chimps make up for it with tremendous upper body strength. I'm never arm wrestling a chimp again. Yeah, but you should have seen the chimp's face. The muscle and bone structure of a biped is much different from that of a knuckle walker. The thigh bone in humans has a longer neck and is angled differently than monkeys and apes. Oh, and we also develop these pretty awesome gluteus muscles. Non-human primates don't have a badonkadonk like that. Science says so. So you can take this information and decide for yourself. What does it really mean to walk like a squatch? Slight feet up the street, 